Magandang umaga po mga kaibigan sa boxing. This week in Tomorrow's Champions, pang-apat na episode na ho natin to. I will show you a fight of a fighter who is virtually unknown. Hindi niyo pa ho nakikita ito. But there is a story behind this fighter. His name, Jeremy Habel. Parang pangalan ng bay. Itong batang ito, paborito ng Cuban coach na kinuha namin for North Cotabato, Honorato Espinosa. And when he was an amateur, he defeated a boxer who is about to take a crack at the world title now. That fighter's name is Marvin Sonsona. Tinalo po ni Jeremy Habel as an amateur fighter si Marvin Sonsona. Here, in today's Tomorrow's Champions, I will show you the fight between Jeremy Habel and Ray Villar of Cebu. Tignan po ninyo and maybe you can find the answers why Jeremy Habel, as an amateur fighter, defeated a world title contender, Marvin Sonson. Cebu Coliseum in Cebu City and uh, through the magic of what we call uh, live streaming. This is the first time... Ladies and gentlemen, Braveheart Boxing Promotion and SGG Sports Promotion presents your next bout of the evening. This is another six-round event for the flyweight division. And presenting to you the two fighters inside the ring. First, the fighter coming out of the blue corner. He weighed at 111 and 1 fourth pounds, wearing the flaming red trunks. From the Braveheart Boxing Gym of North Cotabato, Jeremy Habil. His opponent, fighting out of the red corner, he weighed in at 113 pounds, wearing the blue trunks. Fighting for the Omega Boxing Stable of Mandawi City, ladies and gentlemen, Ray Villar. Your judges, Salvin Lagumbay, Noel Flores, and Arnel Pachon. Your referee is Ben Cesario. Six rounds of professional boxing. Okay. All right, our fifth fight for the evening. And you're watching this fight live via the internet live streaming, www.pinoyboxingtv.com. And uh, as I've mentioned earlier, this is the first time actually in the history of professional boxing in the Philippines that we're showing these fights through the internet. I'm uh, Vice Governor Manny Pinot, with me is Bobby Inferio. Jeremy Habel in red going up against Ray Villar in blue. And we are uh, covered by Channel 47. Channel 47. TV, powered by CCT. Okay, Aron, sinukli ay ni makaigsuna na to makita dre. Okay, atake ang taga Mindanao sa uh, Elaon, Dristian, Sankilin, uh, attacking the Billy attack. Mm -hmm. Jeremy Abel is, a good, is an outstanding amateur fighter, actually. Pero maayo po ning Ray Villar, actually I was told that he's good. No? This could be a good test for uh, Jeremy Abel. Okay. So may na kay ang inang mga kumo, sir, murag dili usik. So, can you preparado ang inang waya? Dakong chance mo daw. Wow. Good. Pounds to the midsection by Jeremy Abel. He goes to the midsection again. Exacto yung mong gaingon, sir, na maayot kayo mo kuot sa kilid. So, budiga, kilid. Budiga, kilid. Good matchup here. Ray Villar in blue going up against Jeremy Habel of North Cotabato, Pikawayan. North Cotabato in red. Okay, sir. Ay, sir, ito pakahampak, sir. Good punch. Gika ni Villar. Good punch in the midsection by Jeremy Habel. May pakakote, Habel. Balosan si Villar. Hmm. Good 
good job there by uh, Ray Villar. Okay. So they are respecting each other. Oh yes. Wala man, kasi puro kastudyo. And makita ni mo sa fighting style sa doka boxing ero, Bobby. They're both good. Good punch to the midsection by Jeremy Habel again. The good thing about Jeremy Habel is he has very fast eyes. Good punch to the midsection again. Okay. Habel now starting to score. So into the midsection again. A good left there. Nice shot by left side me. Ah, bigger. Good round. Anya, don't I say additional ingredients sa tong boxing tonight? Ang mga round girls. Oh yeah. Ato makita makakshonan ang round girl na dala sa round two. Okay, in slow mo na may latigo, may bunal sa midsection si. Jeremy Habel. Ah, Jeremy Habel. So, balik tasa real action mak eksenan. Sa round two. All right, round two scheduled for six. Six now, sir. Supply weight hundred twelve. Jerry Bahal, a rather Ray Villar in blue, going up against North Dakota Batos Jeremy Habel. Good first round for Jeremy Habel. He scored to the midsection. Bunal Sanji Kada. Villar. Good combination. Jeremy Habel. Itong one-two punch oh, yes. ni Villar. Nakalusot siya. Okay, position na uh, boxing. Hmm. Ibusad pa. Yan, one-two, three. Good oh. combination by okay. Jeremy Habel. Nalusad. Okay. Uh, one-two, one-two. Hmm. Hmm. Wapo ni exchange blows. The good thing about Abel is maayong depensa ini ng Babi. Oh, take a look at him. Maayong depensa. When the training is good, we expect good performance. Oh yes. Wapo, 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 Abel. Tamla to period, period to hampaka. Guapo tanaw na kumusor na tamar ke ba? Oh yes. Kung makita ni mo mga bata nga maayong sumbak ako nito ako. Maayong deliver kubo. Malingaw ka sa boxing ako. Malingaw ka ba? Kaya ngubang sulog yun. Accurate. Accurate solid punch. Okay. Jeremy Habel. Good left there by... By Villa. Okay. Balo sa si Balo si Jeremy Habel. Ay di kini pagkakan si Jeremy Habel. Good right by Habel again. Good left, right to the next second. Oh, left. Good sa Habel. So may mga pinsa dua. Oh yes. Tamasan, Sunsan. Good sa Papa. Oh good. Uppercut by Ray Villar. Villar. So, tanaw siya sa imong coach. Aha. Inaano pa? Inaano pa bira? So, inan sideline coaching. Attack left and right. Okay. Habel going to the midsection. End of the round. Okay. Good round for Jeremy Habel. So, importante siya ng coaching sa side. Oh yes. Para you will be reminded what to do inside the ring. Sering saya lebih nak baik gue ulo mabungu kan? Aha. Kalau bungu ni mahu halang ini membrilian sih. You know. So you get some inspiration from the side court. Actually, 
the corner man, ang trabaho sa corner man is to uh, analyze uh, the fight and uh, look at ways to counter the uh, strategy of the opponent. That's why there are corner men. Yeah, para tulungan kang asa hampak, uh -huh. asa ig, asa strong points, yeah. o kang weak points. This is round round three. Three of good uh, fight. Six rounds between two uh, very outstanding uh, young fighters in the flyweight division. Jeremy Habel versus Rebillard of Omega Boxing Gym. Rosa my God. Wow, it goes at all. Wait, claro to. Lawas, lawas. Oh, lawas. Ay, muli pinsa ang duwas eh. Oh, yes. Oh, good left there. By Ray Villar. Wow. May kumot ano si Villar, pero nila kaigo na pusok. Pero delikado. I mean, ah... Villar has the power and uh, he has been throwing that left actually ang uh, munang delikado ng sumbag ni uh, Ray Villar actually mm. if he connects that uh, it could be dangerous wow. a good left and right wow. to the midsection by uh, Jeremy Abel and Ray Villar is hurt yeah isa kitan to yeah Ray Villar is hurt oh. nasabay ito sa ginahawa siguro no? oh. in most cases basta maigo ay mong kidney o kantiyan mo kami ka mo pangyar imo makina mura ka ga nayusan ug hangin yes oh yes and they now complaining signs of signs of pain actually signs of pain dela ka do matuang ray billiar oh na dela matuang matuang yes ray billiar now is starting to feel the pain sa mid section and jeremy habel has about the mid section Oh, good left. Wow. Good combination there by Jeremy Habel. Mura manak out. Yes. Lawas. Kosme. Kosme, lawas. Lawas. Did you know that you can't really see Habel? Lucky go sa Chiman. Good right. Good right eh, Villar. Bye, Villar. Abangti rin si Villar ba? Good action ni Villar. Good left. Good left to Villar. Good right to Villar. Villar. Yes. Oh, he goes down. Yes. And he goes down. Okay. May go sa Tiyan. Murag ni Kaguanta ni. Ah, si Bobby Bill to. Actually, ang problema sa body punching, Bobby, walang matibay na boxing sa body punching. If you continue taking those punches in the beat section, you will really need. You will build. Look at that. Look at that. No, gusto kita nyo. Delete. Delete down. Delete. O mga padayong ni Sir, nangyawa ang ginin sa ako na Round 4 Protection sa iyan Second knockdown in this fight Scored by Jeremy Habel In round 3 Following a barrage of punches To the midsection of Brave Villar Ako ang tanong sa iyo Rag Oh! It's all over Ah, yun nga ni It's all over Isakitan siya sa kuso kay Komo, surrender na. Surrender, yeah. It's all over. Fourth round to sir? Fourth round, TKO. By, actually TKO because he was counted out. By Jeremy Haber. So, 
You are enjoying, brothers and sisters, on this nuded uh, combating exercise sa mga young and upcoming stocks sa natad sa pamuksing. Mayo kay Pakego in the slow motion na uh, viewing us. 11.5 pa ko. Na So, congratulations sir. Thank you very much. So, out Where? of uh, out of <laughs> five, medyo four up, wins, one loss. No? Upat ang imo. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, And by the way, you're watching quality boxing, Bobby. <laughs> hindi ni uh, hindi ito boxing na kinuha pinulot natin yung mga kalaban kung saan saan at uh, nilaban sa mga bata natin. Uh, you saw Ray Villar there who wilted under the uh, under the uh, Tremendous body punching of uh, of Jeremy Habel. Uh, he 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 was working very well. Mm. In fact, he hurt Habel uh, several times during the fight. Pero makakita ka sa. Ladies and gentlemen, with 27 seconds left in the fourth round, referee Ben Cesario stopped the contest. For the winner by technical knockout and still undefeated after 11 fights, Jeremy Havel! Jeremy Havel! 11 fights undefeated, sir. Yeah. Uh, he is a bright future in boxing. Mm -hmm. So, mapadayo na siya sa og uh, kakugi under your guidance and your uh, encouragement, support, inspiration. That's it. Ito yung unang knockdown, actually, no? Uh, Two punches to the midsection. So, eksakto to yung nung sir, sa itong uh, scope forum. Nabantay ang mga kumo sa boxer mo na inaghampak sa kilid, nadala ng tanage punches. Oh, yeah. So, you'll be cannibalized by that thin uh, in the Louis ribs, in the Billy attack, di ba, sir? So, this is a good concert. A good uh, eye opener sa mga sabano. You better watch out sa mga mm -hmm. fighters gikan sa North Cotabato under your uh, management. Oh yeah. Kita nyo, siguro you will agree with me that this boy has a future in boxing. But he's still young. He's about uh, 20 years old. At ang kanyang record is uh, 14 wins and one draw. And he still has to fight his first 10 round fight. But hopefully, pag na maigi yung pagka guide sa kanya, I think we will see this young boy grow up to be a world title contender. In the meantime, second fight po natin in tomorrow's champions, today's edition, the fourth edition, Reynaldo Belandres. Medyo may pagka heartbreak kid lang tong batang ito. Dalawang tabla na. Isang tabla. Nung lumaban siya ng PBF Championship na kaputukan. Ang second na tabla niya, lumaban siya sa Japan, sa Japon. He was on the way to uh, knocking out the Japanese fighter. Pero nagkauntugan, inuntog actually. At malaki yung sugat niya. But in today's fight, I will show you Reynaldo Belandres against Rolando Magaliano. May kom komentaryo lang ako sa batang ito. Medyo tentative ng konti. But you can see the power of this boy behind those punches. Let's take a look. At this fight, Reynaldo Belandres, undefeated featherweight against Rolando Magallan. We're back at the Governor Angel Medina Senior Memorial Gymnatorium War in Ozamis and our next fight, Rolando Belandres against Reynaldo, Reynaldo Belandres against Rolando. Magaliano, tail of the tape, uh, Magaliano, older by four years and heavier by a pound. Si Magaliano rin yan, and almost same, at the same height and reach advantage K Magaliano. And for the official announcement, dapat tayo sa ating yung announcer, Kaloy Bautista. This is scheduled for eight rounds of professional boxing at 126 pounds. Our boxers in this fight, in the blue corner, he comes from Baliangao, Misamis Occidental. Has a record of five wins with one knockout, one loss, and no draw. Rolando Magaliano. 
His opponent in the red corner comes from Dalapitan, Matalam, North Cotabato. He is fighting for the Braveheart Boxing Club and has a record of 12 wins, 8 by way of knockout, no loss, and 2 draws. The Boy of Steel, Reynaldo Belandre. Our third man in the referee or in the ring to act as referee is referee Andres Manatan. And our judges for this bout, Judge Roel Den Singh, Judge Adolfo Calagnan, and Judge Marvin Artes. Oh, can you? Eight rounds. Why mo ang dalo de belt? Iwasan natin ang siko. Iwasan natin ang... No. In case of Brunei, mga knockout, daganda yung sa white corner. Pag sinabi sa referee, break, automatic break. Okay, back to your corner. Battle of the Featherweights, eight round encounter, Reynaldo Belandres, fighting out of the Braveheart Boxing Stable of North Tabato against Rolando Magallano in Balyangao, Misamis Occidental. Reynaldo Belandres' professional record actually has been blemished by two uh, technical draws. Uh, one against Julie Raham and another against uh, a Japanese fighter whom he was mauling up in the first round that was in the second round and it was tough. I think that was his last fight. That was his last fight. Mal malaki yung cut na yun, ha? nakita ko sa picture. And uh, talagang hindi pwedeng uh, itunoy yun ako. And Landres in the red, Magaliano in the white. Yung nakakasukatan in this opening round. Andres, I believe, uh, that thing, amateur, uh, oh, yes. stand -up He's a former stand -up. member of the national, national team. team. And uh, he went home to pursue a college degree. Again, uh, when his uh, professional career was improving, he decided to leave college, uh, just temporarily, to pr pursue his uh, career with the A good right there by Rolando Magaliano. That was an overhand right. And before that, uh, he got caught by the overhand right by Belandres. Not much jab from both fighters. Magaling ang depensa itong Reynaldo Belandres actually. Medyo kulang lang sa body punch. Of course, Belandres now trained by... Good right. Benito Donaire Sr. Santana si Magaliano. Trained by Don Sultan, the former Philippine welterweight champion. Mukhang may respeto yung parehong fighters sa isa't isa. Seem to know each other. Glancing left by Belandres. And Belandres just staying in front of Magaliano. Magaliano waiting for the right moment. Combination by Belandres. And Belandres, like what the Governor Pinyon mentioned, uh, coming off. Was that his first fight abroad? Yes, the first fight abroad actually in Japan. And uh, actually, pagkatapos ng laban, yung hapon lumapit sa kanya, according to uh, Nomito Bumayat Sr. He said, uh, I'm sorry, but uh, we should have won the fight. And now the Belandres, cautious, actually, ma malamig talaga itong batang ito sa first round. Mm -hmm. Parang diesel, eh? Good right, but now the Belandres. But they should be going to the midsection, actually. Bukas yung midsection yung... Uh, Pero mukhang maganda rin kasi direksyon ng right straight ni Magaliano. Sabi mo nga, magandang depensa ito si Belandre. So probably try to avoid that. Be cautious about the right straight of Magaliano. Last 10 seconds of this first round. There's a body shot by Belandre. Good right. Section by Belandre. Stop! End of the first round. Eight round fight in the featherweight division. This is Orlando Magaliano. So take a look at the slow mo replay. Right here. Good right goal. there. By Reynaldo Belandres. Staggers uh, Rolando Magaliano in the first round of this fight. Of course, uh, Reynaldo Belandres, former member of the national amateur boxing team. Good crowd here at the Young Hell Medina Senior.
Gymnatorium. You're watching Wari Nozamis here on Studio 23. You can also catch it abroad via ABS-CBN's well-known TFC the Filipino, Filipino channel. channel. Yes. Hello. Ayan mga kababayan natin abroad, baka may mga kababayan kapag-alaki rito ha, sa Osamis. Round number two, eight round bout, Melandres in red, Magaliano in white. By the way, I failed to mention Dennis. No? We've been using the Cebu made T-bite gloves actually. Mm -hmm. uh, ito, ito yung first local made gloves na ginagamit natin sa professional boxing and in a big event like this. Uh, ito yung gawa ng t family sa Cebu. And uh, they have patterned this after Cleto Reyes, actually. Ano bang feedback ng mga fighters natin? Uh, go gusto, gusto nila. Kasi this is the puncher's uh, gloves, actually. Uh -huh. So parang Cleto Reyes ni Manny Pacquiao. Uh -huh. Masyadong cautious lang minsan itong Rinaldo Belantos. Uh -oh. Pero sa nakikita ko sa'yo, Gob, mukhang may dating din yung mga suntok ni oh, yes. Magaliano. Eh. May, ano, may lakas yung Magaliano. So Belantos is just probably waiting for the right opening at the right time. There's a left jab by Belandres. Double jab by Magaliano. But that right punch was covered by uh, Belandres. Belandres. Oh. And there uh, again, the loose tape puns. Love the Magaliano. Now the uh, Tondon Sultan, former Philippine champion. And the... Uh, I believe a one-time WBF uh, champion, well-traveled uh, fighter, is now uh, working as a trainer for uh, the SGG Promotions. That's Don Don Sultan, who won the Philippine Championship by stopping uh, Cesar Yarte a few years ago in Surigao. Mm -hmm. Action resumes. Belandres in red, Magaliano in white. And, uh, Belandres, uh, I think, uh, talagang uh, nag-iingat din siya. But I want to make sure about uh, before he unleashes his blow. So, pet uh, punch. Good right by Belandres. Actually, lang isang kinokorek dito ni uh, Nonito Donaire kay Rinaldo Belandres. Yung paggalaw ng suntok niya, ng ulo niya, kung yung suntok siya. Uh -oh. Medyo awkward yung position at yes. parang uh, open for counter blow, you know? We're 30 seconds away towards the end of this second round, but now the action is heating up. Body shot by Magaliano, but na uh, uh, good right Belandres. by, by, by uh, Magaliano. Oh, yun, yun yung yung iniwasan ni Belandres, and finally to Mama. Mm -hmm. So that's why uh, cautious uh, see si Belandres. Right connected by Belandres. Magaliano comes back with his own right punch. Reynaldo, Reynaldo Belandres over the cautious. Oh, over the cautious. And he's wild with that right. Wild with right. He should be going to the big section. Oh, I don't understand this. Well, probably he's trying to correct him when he had movement. Did he go? Barang is being too conscious about it. Because I think that maybe yes. Counting body lang and then hook sa katawan. Dahil kita mo wala yung defense ng right part of his body. Look at that. Sinusuwak niya yung ulo niya tuwing sumusuot yan. Oh. So, delikado sa uppercut yun. So, mga counter blows. And that's the end of round number two. Thank you. 
Third round of the box scheduled for eight. Reynaldo Belandres in red. And Federer prospect. But he has to show his uh, his uh, talents here actually. He's over the coaches. Starting with the most important shot of the lineup. Ayo Lumapit. Para maging stiff big line, no? Yes, Belandres. And I heard the. In a very wide yung katawan nila. Bukas na bukas eh. Good right by Reynaldo Belandres. Ano pa rin ang suntik niya. He's still head hunting. It's been very difficult so far for Belandres na tumama sa... Kasi meron din nga... Decent footwork si Magaliano. Nakaka-atras, nakaka-iwas. And konting bend pa atras, nakaka-iwas siya sa kanan ni uh, Belandres. Kita mo yung uh, looping left na yun ni Belandres na nawalan sa balance. Good right. Count to right by Belandres. And Belandres left there uh -huh. by uh, Magaliano. Magaliano. wala pa sa rhythm eh, no? si uh, Reynaldo Belandres I don't know but, uh, he's already the third round he still has been head hunting and he has a big going to the body oh, oh. there's a right connected by Belandres and a counter right again and he's still looking for that uh, shot to the face Ronaldo Magaliano there embracing Ronaldo Belandres mukha na maacha na kanan There's the left left hook by Belandres while with the right Ronaldo Ronaldo Belandres there's a body shot ayun mukha ininda na yun yun mukha ininda ni Magaliano Immediately he locked with right hand the Belandres because there's no defense whatsoever sa katawan si Rolando Magaliano. And a wild right by Belandres. And that's the end of this round. More action when we continue. Eight round feature: Reynaldo Belandres in red, Orlando Magaliano in white. Fourth round action in the featherweight division. So far, it's been a puzzle para kay Belandres. Ito si Orlando Magaliano can solve the seemingly awkward style of Magaliano. And still, Belandres trying to work on that his head hunting style. Not going to the body. While Magaliano has been counter punching, has been having uh, some success so far in uh, de delivering some counter blows to Belandres. Oh, Not much jab to be si Reynaldo Belandres. Oh, Belandres going to be like that straight. And oh! Magalianos down is up by five. Magalianos hurt. 
He's he hurt. is dazed. Magallanes is dazed. Trying to shake him up. Combination by Belandres and Magaliano hanging on, dear life. Oh, yes. What Belandres did there actually uh, was a negative. Well, he's had some frustrations first three rounds. Oh, he's had some frustrations the first three rounds. Oh, he's had some but it's being, you know, man, uh, eager, masyad, masyad eager, no? In yeah. uh, trying to go for the kill. I, this is a uh, huge break for Magaliano. Oh, yes. If I were Don Don Sultan, I'd move slow there. <laughs> and that's exactly what he's doing. I don't suppose it's there, you know? Yeah. And Don Don Sultan being a former boxer himself. Buying some Bago time. Bago yung Rolando Magaliano sa corner para mag tinatanong niya yung Sultan with a look. But kung bilis mo naman ginawa yun, dapat tinatagal. <laughs> <laughs> Body shot by Belandres. Oh, another good right by, Rolando, by Ronaldo Belandres. But Magaliano fights back. Ito. He's again seriously hurt. Orlando Magaliano, umakapit na kay Belandres. Another combination by oh, Belandres. He goes down again. Goes down for the second time in the center. And the towel is thrown in. The towel is thrown in. And his trainer, Dondon Sultan, doing the right thing. He knows that it's only a matter of time no, before finally eh, hihilata itong si Orlando. Look Magaliano. at what happened when uh, Belandres in Connecting some uh, combinations to the three punches. And he pressed, he pressed the fight. The, oh. When he pressed the fight, tinamaan niya yung Magaliano. Exacto. But probably, if, uh, for sure, no? he'll be able to watch his fight. No? Lots of uh, lessons learned dito sa laban na to. But uh, to Magaliano's credit, eh, he gave his all. Yan ang talagang eventually the power of uh, Belandres is too much right for him. Ito yung right na tumama kay Magaliano. That was the first knockdown. Ito na yung time of the stoppage. And uh, we now turn over to our ring announcer for the official verdict of this our fight. Our winner at 2 minutes and 48 seconds in the fourth round by technical knockout, Reynaldo, boy of steel, Belandres. Andres wins his uh, 12th professional fight. So, snatching another win, Reynaldo Belandres, a work in progress. Uh, Actually, marami pang dapat ibaguhin sa fighting style niya. Yung masyadong overly cautious, overly cautious, and uh, masyadong uh, parang takot pumasok. That, that attitude should be changed. Because he's not going to go anywhere. Look at that, nung pinresyon ni Magaliano, tinamaan niya. And... That's about it. Uh, this was uh, special feature, Belandres against Magaliano, war in Ozamis. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Good night. Well, two great fights in today's edition of Tomorrow's Champions. Dalawang hindi kilalang boxingero na siguro in the future ay madalas yun na makikita sa mga malalaking laban. We have more of them. Just Sit tight, just follow this program, and you will see tomorrow's champions. Thank you very much. I'm Manny Pinot.